I did journal assessment. Okay, so my first slide I did on article summary. This was, uh, the title of the article was called Journal Writing in the Elementary Classroom. So this kind of just gave key points of what was important. In the article, it talked about effective journal writing and how important it is. It talked about how to use checklists, how to structure different kinds of journals, the ways to go about things, how to pick journal topics for children to want to write a journal in general, because most kids do not like writing journals. And making it relatable was the main key in this article. I used a second article as well, and this article was how to use journals in the elementary and middle school this time. It kind of talked about the effects of having somebody walk out of the classroom while you're writing a journal and the impact of what students want to do, positive impacts of journal writing, the negative impacts, questions to ask and to answer when you're journal writing or preparing a journal for your students to write. This one here is the positive impacts of the journal writing for the journal entry number one, which was on the elementary. Writing every day helps students gain fluency. Um, one of the main things said, this was by uh, Beth Lewis, and she had mentioned that fluency kind of gave the idea of practice. It helped with punctuation, spelling, grammar, all that kind of thing. She had said how journals are a main way to help students be fluent in their readings and their speaking. The negative impacts on the first article of elementary was lack of structure of topics. Students get too off topic when a teacher says, okay, write whatever you want. She said it was okay to be lenient and say, okay, Friday you get free writing. Write about something you want to write about, something that happened in your week. But if you don't structure the writing and just say, write a journal today about what you did last night, it's not structured enough for a student to be able to develop the writing skills. It's just a gen general thing. Um, Talked about the time. That was a big thing for teachers, is that the time to grade journals, people don't want to do it. That's a lot of time they have to put in if they're not making a strict rubric. And uh, they didn't show that it needed to be made sure that you could qualify the rubric as a general whole of journals, not just this topic of a journal and this topic of a journal. Making one rubric made it a lot easier to go with. The positive impacts of journal writing for the middle school and elementary had to do with uh, building relationships with people in the community. It's very important to have the aspects of the life around you. Mainly the key for a journal is to be able to write and reflect in most cases on what you've seen, what you've learned, what you encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. Some of the things they said is it gave students a safe place to write. That should be somewhere where maybe there is times where the students read it out in class, but it should be an uh, appropriate topic that they feel comfortable sharing with the class, maybe what they did do on the weekend. Not something such as a personal topic that you can say that somebody might not want to share. It makes them feel uncomfortable. Um, most of the things were, you can give journals as a homework to promote like students to read individually. Say if you say, hey, tonight I want you to write a one-page journal on this topic. Okay, well, you know, a one-page journal. I'm explaining it for something I've experienced. Well, that's easy homework because that's something that I just did. I can write that out easily. It's not something that is going to impact me as a time-consuming homework when it's something I can relate to. The negative impacts is some people say journal writing is just constant busy work that's always happening. Giving a journal every day is a lot. They say making it a bell ringer would be better, but if you're doing it as something every day, students get sick of it. It's the same thing every day. Yeah, it's a different topic, but it's the same thing every day. Uh, it also gives students the freedom, but like I had said, the achievement in the writing doesn't go up if you're just saying, write a journal about whatever you want every single day. That's not structuring them to develop and become a better writer. Five key points to consider when assigning journal writing to your students. So the structure of topics. topics. Are they relatable? Is it something that they can do in a short period of time because they don't want to be doing it for 20 minutes of your class period. That's a waste of time. The next thing would be making sure you have a rubric. They actually had said in the, in the articles, the best way to write a journal for a child is to put in their journal a little paper and it'll have little check boxes that they have to check off every time they write their journal. Maybe it might be sentence structure. It may be the ideal that they covered the questions in the topic properly, not just saying the general. So if, say if I made a, a topic 
and I said, write about how animals live, how they survive. And then you have to answer the why part, not just how they survive. You need to explain it in depth and make sure you're thinking deeply. We don't want it to be a general, general topic. Uh, the most interesting concept in the article to me was the way they question for a teacher, for you to question. Because sometimes I think when I would personally think of getting an article, I just think, oh, I got an article to do. They want me to write something to get a grade on. Well, in this case, they were talking about, are you going to do the journal personally? Are you going to do it in partners? Are you reflect? Is it a refre reflective writing or is it a personal writing? And then it said, like, when will students journal? Why will they journal? What's the reason that they're journaling? Are you writing for a grade like sometimes? Or do you have a reason behind it that you're trying to get your students to develop something? It really talked about, that was something that really struck me as something I never would think as in depth about. That, like, just a journal on a regular basis. I remember getting them all the time. Well, now you don't, you don't need to do that. There's different reasonings for getting different journals. How journals can be used in the classroom. So journals are a way of assessing students' writing skills, their grammar, the punctuation. It kind of gives you an idea of what they think. This is also a way to help students to keep them thinking, to make it a relatable topic that makes them want to write about it. Uh, a great way journals are used is to show experience. That way, also, teachers get to know their students when you're giving an experience topic. You get to learn about them or what excites them, what interests them. This is an activity that I did for the class. This is just something short if we were to do. It would be write a one paragraph journal, three day sentences about someone who has inspired you in some way to be the person you are today. And I just said on here, think deeply, be reasonable, give examples, and you have five minutes. That way it gives structure, it's a topic that's relatable, and it's something that you know is wanting to be shared. Because it is something that inspired you, which should in most ways be positive. And then this is my video here. Did you keep a diary when you were a kid? Do you keep a journal today? Coach Libby Gill shares the benefits of journal writing and how to get started. Journal writing is one. I call it verbal meditation because for me, it's very much about um, downloading what's 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 behind your, your feelings and your emotions. Sometimes it's frustration, sometimes it's grief, sometimes it's anger, and if you get that out on the page, and it's not just what you write in that day, but it's looking at recurring themes that start to emerge. So you get a very clear sense and pattern of, you know, what's bugging you or what you're holding back, and I, I encourage people to do this two ways. And one is to, is to it's just free-flowing communication. Just write. Just give yourself ten minutes or five pages or whatever you want to do. That's doable. Don't say, if you've never journal, written in a journal before, don't say, I'm going to do an hour a day because that'll make you crazy. And you just let your hand flow. And the other way is to pose powerful questions. Ask yourself something. What's blocking me here? What job do I want? What's, who do I need to have on my support team? And ask yourself that question maybe the night before and then when you get up in the morning begin to write on that topic because your, your mind will do some of this work for you while you sleep. And it takes a little practice and a little getting used to but it really starts to reveal different ways. Okay, so right here in the video she described how the benefits of writing and the main thing she had pointed out was exactly what it is. When you go into a classroom of 6th graders or 7th graders or 8th graders, there's a lot of things going on in their lives. There could be positive, there could be negatives. But say that's something that you could bring up a topic. When's the time that made you mad? Who's, when's the time that somebody made you mad and what did they do? How could you fix that next time? Or what's a problem you've encountered and how could you fix the problem? Things like that are something that you could definitely have as a journal topic. That way to get, a, get to know your students on a deeper level. I think that it would be important to do that. And I also feel like evaluating a student at that level also gives you, you an idea of what they go through, what they experience. But that would not be a topic that somebody would want to share in front of the class. That maybe be a personal for me to read, but still s look at structure, but also get a sense of how my students learn.